This is Akashwani in the news read by Morgan Bagra. Prime Minister Narendra Modi is scheduled to reply to the motion of thanks to the President's address in Lok Sabha today. President Draupadi Murmu had addressed the joint sitting of Lok Sabha and Rajya Sabha on 21st January last, the first day of the budget session. Meanwhile, the Bharatiya Janata Party has issued a three-line fib to it, all its MPs in Lok Sabha to be present in the lower house. Prime Minister Narendra Modi has said that the country's women power is going to make a valuable contribution in the resolution of Viksit Bharat. Mr. Modi said the government is committed to women-led development. In a social media post, Mr. Modi said shared an article of Women and Child Development Minister Smriti Irani published in National Daily. Appreciating the article, the Prime Minister acknowledged that women-led development is not limited to just a few programs but is embedded at the heart of the nation's development story. Government today clarified that it has nothing to do with the tax devolution of some states as it is purely based on the recommendations of the Finance Commission. Finance Minister Nirmala Sitaraman said the centre has no right or any role to play in this matter and this apprehension that some states are discriminated is a politically distorted narrative. She was replying to supplementaries in the Lok Sabha during the question hour on Congress leader Adhiranjan Choudhury's allegations that injustice has been done to Karnataka and other non-BJP ruled states by the central government with reduction in tax devolution. The minister underlined that the system with regard to the tax devolution is well placed and she does not have any discretion to play around with Finance Commission recommendations. She said the commission meets different stakeholders and then submits its recommendations. Ms. Sitaraman added that the GST, particularly the SGST, goes 100% to the states while the IGST is collected because it involves a lot of interstate payments and it is periodically reviewed. She also said that it is 50% grossly divided and periodically adjusted. The minister said the CGST is divided as per the advice of the commission and red fixation has nothing to do with the centre. The government today introduced the Public Examinations Prevention of Unfair Means Bill 2024 in the Lok Sabha. The bill is intended to prevent unfair means in the public examinations. Minister of State for Personnel Dr. Jitendra Singh introduced the legislation. Besides, the Jammu and Kashmir Local Bodies Laws Amendment Bill 2024 was also introduced in the Lok Sabha. The bill seeks to amend the Jammu and Kashmir Panchayati Raj Act 1989, the Jammu and Kashmir Municipal Act 2000 and the Jammu and Kashmir Municipal Corporation Act 2000. Minister of State for Home Nityanand Rai introduced the bill in the lower house. Petroleum Minister Hardeep Singh Puri has said that government's constant effort is to provide more gas available for the domestic cooking purpose and transport sector and it is committed to make a green transition. Replying to supplementaries during question hour in the Rajya Sabha today, Mr. Puri said government is encouraging use of clean fuel like compressed natural gas CNG. He said Centre has rationalised the system of calculating cost of fuels in April 2023 and as a result, while global prices were very high, the domestic prices were 83% lower. The Minister said the focus is on availability, sustainability and affordability. He said, autonomous process of CNG transition is underway. Replying to another query about disruptions in the global oil market due to attacks in the Red Sea, Mr. Puri said there is a certain degree of anxiety because of known state actors affecting supply lines. He expressed confidence that these factors making for anxiety will be contained and there will not be an out escalation. Prominent Indian musicians Shankar Mahadevan and Zakir Hussain's fusion band Shakti backed the prestigious Grammy Award today. They clinched the award in Best Global Music Album category for their last latest album, The Moment, This Moment. The album, This Moment, was released in June last year. The album consisted of eight songs. Meanwhile, Zakir Hussain also backed the Grammy in Best Global Music Performance category for his contribution to Pashto. Moreover, veteran Indian classical flute 
artist Rakesh Jorasia managed to win dual Grammy for his collaborative album As We Speak in the Best Contemporary Instrumental and Best Global Music Performance categories. That's all in this news bulletin. Namaskar.